Hello there, and welcome aboard this Wilco Airbus A319 here at Bristol Airport this afternoon. This tutorial is going to help you learn how to use the Flight Management Guidance Computer and take off this wonderful aircraft. The Wilco Airbus series Volumes 1 and 2 all feature a fully working Flight Management Computer which can be accessed by selecting Shift and the number 5 key, like so. Once this is open, we select the FMGC by the LSQ1 key, top left hand corner. This takes us into our initial page. As the FS flight plan is already loaded, we can select data. And then we can import the FS flight plan directly into the FMGC. As you can see on screen in yellow, all the flight plan waypoints have been loaded from the FS flight plan into the FMGC. However, that's not the end of it, as we still need to tell it which runways we're going to use. The way we choose a runway is by selecting the departure point, e.g. GD in this case, and then selecting Departure. We can then choose 09 as our departure runway. Our waypoints for our standards for departure are already in this flight plan, so we just choose No SID and Insert. This then takes us back to our flight plan page, where we can take out the discontinuity line to join up the first flight plan waypoint with our departure, like so. We now need to tell the flight management computer where we're going to be landing. It already knows it's Edinburgh EGPH, so by scrolling down through the waypoints, we get to our final waypoint, which is EGPH. And then by selecting that, in the same way as we did for our departure, we choose that and then go to Arrival. We're expecting a Runway 24 arrival, so we'll select ILS 024. As with our departure, our arrival points are already in the flight plan. So again, we'll select No Star. And then simply insert as you did for the departure. Then, once again, take out discontinuity, and our flight plan is complete. Now the flight plan is complete, we need to go to the initial page to enter some additional information and start entering our performance information for the flight. First of all, let's enter our alternate, EGPF for Glasgow. We put this into the alternate section by using the RS key next to it. Next, we enter our flight number. This goes into the flight number section again by using the key next to the section it goes in. Then we enter our altitude, flight level 280. Now that's complete, we can tell the aircraft where it is. We do this by aligning the IRS using the RS key next to the orange align IRS. The IRS system takes a few months to align and will display on the main ECAM. Once it's aligned, this will disappear. And there we go. Now we click Next Page and tell the aircraft how much it weighs. By clicking the RS key 1, next to the gross weight, the aircraft will automatically put in how much the aircraft weighs, and then below it, fuel on board, in this case 10 tonnes. Next we go into the PERF page, or performance. This is where we enter our flex calculations, flap settings, and we get our V-speeds. Today we're going to be using a flex calculation of 35. So we enter 35 into flex. 
Our flap settings are 2, up 3. That gives us a takeoff setting, flap 2. The aircraft will now automatically calculate our V speeds, and all we need to do is click the respective LS key next to V1, VR, and V2. Now all the information is entered, you can scroll through the respective stages of flight from takeoff to climb. To cruise and then our descent and then finally onto the approach page. On the approach page we can enter information we know for Edinburgh such as the wind, also temperature and our Q&H. We're expecting a possibly foggy approach today, so we could be doing an auto land, so we'll set our decision height at 50. And that's all the information you need to get the flight underway. we can advance our throttle levers to the climb and then to the flex position to set our takeoff power. On the primary flight display you can see displayed SRS and runway. The SRS system is a speed referencing system and the two green bars in the centre of the primary flight display give us indications of our perfect climb and perfect lateral altitudes, pitch and movement. As we accelerate down the runway in flex mode, you can see our V1 and VR speeds in blue coming closer to the yellow line. And as we hit them, there we go, V1, VR, rotate. The aircraft will now start climbing, as you can see the green bars in the centre of the primary flight display, giving us indications on how we should be in our perfect profile to maintain our selected managed speed. You can see we're in managed mode because of the orange dots on the mode control panel next to the speed and the heading. Managed mode means the aircraft has full authority over the flight control systems in terms of speed, pitch and profile. We can now set the thrust levers back one notch to climb thrust and engage autopilot and select our managed climb. Now that the autopilot is engaged, the aircraft will fly itself along the flight plan that we entered a while ago, up to a cruise level of 280. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and it's given you some idea of how to fly the Wilco Airbus. Yeah. I'm blue, I'm indeed, I'm indeed.